I think y'all deserve another jump shot. You know, I, I, I think I think it's time. The official BDG Booster God jump shot is dropping today. What a side of steak. Not really. Uh, but I am showing you a raw, uncut, unedited uh, gameplay just because I want to show y'all this shit is valid. And you can bring it to the 1v1 stage. The one problem with the 1v1 stage is that if you miss, you're done. And that's I'm talking to my play shots, my stretches, whoever, whoever shoots, right? Whoever brings these type of builds to the 1v1 stage, I'm talking to y'all. This is the jump shot for you. Like Every build that has the possibility of being able to shoot in this game should have this equipped because i'm i'm saying this right now you miss once the game's over now look I, I i hit a white i'm not perfect if i was a perfect human being i wouldn't be making youtube videos bro like <laughs> let's be real i wouldn't even be playing 2k to begin with like most of the player base in this game is like 99.9 percent .9 depressed like you can't play this game without feeling like you want to like you know like i i can't even say it because it's youtube but like bro you know what i'm talking about now the dude on verso right here he was kind of ass he was leaving me open so like it's not difficult shots i'm taking it's not real difficult shots i'm just getting to my spots and just letting it fly now this was one game out of 12. i streaked up for 12 and well obviously zach was you know what i'm saying you he, he pulled up a couple times i think it was like three of those but like out of 10 games i did not fucking miss i really did not miss like i had a couple misses but like overall like i shot like a good 96 percent out of 10 games in the stage so like this jump shot gotta be different because i ain't like i'm be real with you i ain't never did that before I ain't never did that before, on the, especially on the ones I'd always get my ass whooped by some post scores, but the, the motherfuckers were scared. They was running. I had people pull up twice and just to leave. And I know I just greened the layup, and it might look like I have a fucking zen. I actually have no idea how I greened the layup with no meter. It's kind of suspicious if you ask me, but I don't really care. Uh, Mike Wayne patched that bitch a long time ago, and I ain't got the money to afford a fucking zen to begin with. But. I'm still dishing out these L's in 9 for 9, 10 for 10 games. Like, I do got a Zen, so do it really matter? No. It's the power of the motherfucking jump shot. If you're paying attention to this game, you knew I went 5 for 5 from 3, 9 for 9 in total. 0 and 23. Got packed the f up. All right, so y'all finally made it to the jump shot reveal. You see, I'm on my 99 stretch for That was the bit I was on. I do got an 85 three-point shot. I'll show you my badges later. But right now, we gonna see the motherfucking jump shots now i called this one look y'all gonna see it real quick i called this one <laughs> look at zach I, I called it uh i think chizzy d i don't know why d way lonzo ball and kobe bryant with a 51 49 blend apparently i don't remember doing that but that's apparently what it is now my release speed is maxed because my dude is a taller player i am 6 7 i'm a 6 7 stretch four i have a maxed release speed now if you're six six you know i'm like six five anything below six seven go three fourths trust me that's fire if you want to go max speed you can but it's honestly up to your preference if you like slow jump shots go slower if you like fast jump shots go faster it's really that simple like not everybody everybody's different nobody shoots the same so you got to figure out what's good for you i don't want you to equip this jump shot and then start bricking because you put max speed on like test it out first like put three fours so maybe maybe shit you might be you know I'll f like that bro like I don't, I don't think that's a good idea but you might be able to agree with that i don't know like i said everybody's different now a second jump shot i've been using is d-way with lonzo ball by itself this one works just as fine i will recommend having a little bit of a higher three-point shot to use this one but it's still money it's still cash green i was using this one in my previous video so if you looked at that vid and wonder what my jump shot was it was this one it's not the one i just gave you but both work basically the same they have the same release timing and everything it's just one of them has kobe bean on them and i prefer that one because of the release that, re that lonzo release it, it, sometimes it looks cruise so i i don't I, I like it but i that's why you put the kobe on uh but let's move on to my badges because i know y'all probably gonna want the badges too all right so this is the bad setup this is what i was rocking uh during the 1v1 stage gameplay uh obviously i got volume shooter green machine corner specialist and clutch shooter on silver because all, all those all those are good badges but these three specifically need to be on hall of fame at all times you need to have these on hall of fame especially hot start if you want to green and never miss you gotta have this badge on i know green machine is important but it caps out at like silver 
it's, it's, a, it's not even worth it, bro. Put your badge points into these three, bro. Trust me. That's all you need. I'm going to put y'all on some game, though, right? If y'all want to be able to compete at the 1v1 stage, all you got to do is practice. And you might be asking, how the f*** do I practice? I ain't got the VC to do that shit. I get dropped off every time. Well, look. Go to the 2v2s. Go to the 2v2s. Find yourself a spot up. As soon as you do that, practice ISO on the 2v2s. As soon as you're able to do that, you can bring it to the 1v1 stage. Both games are games of possessions, right? They're games of possessions, not games of, you know, like threes where it's back and forth. The 1v1 and the 2v2 are both games of possessions. That means if you miss, you're done. You lost. So refine that on the twos and then bring it to the ones and then you'll see how you fare. To be honest, the 1v1 court is 20 times more difficult than the 2v2 because you don't have a help defender and it's loaded with just inside just builds, right? And this is what I'm talking about. I'm not versing an inside player right here. I'm versing a PG, but I got cocky and I decided, let me try to break him. Oh, I'm funny. I'm up 19. Little did I know that he had that burner on him too. And I did block him. He oh, got lucky, but he had it on him, bro. He knew how to ISO. He knew what he was doing. And I fucked up by letting him get the ball. This is a game of possessions. I let him have a chance to actually beat me. And he was trying to. He tried to. It was a 13 and 19. Remember, this motherfucker was at zero. And bullshit like this will happen on the stage. But you got to remember, if you stay poised, you'll get a stop. And you, you should be able to bring it home. Just don't fuck up. It's limited fuck ups. I see you get one time, one chance to beat them after you lose the ball. That's it. That's if they're not a post score, by the way. If they're a post score, good luck. It's GG. Stay away from them. Focus. If you see that on the court, don't even try, bro. I'm be rude to you. Just save yourself. A, you know what I'm saying? A headache, bro. It's not going to happen. It might. But nine times out of ten, don't. Hey, but what the fuck? Every time this happens, bro. How the hell? Hey, this is going to wrap up today's vid, man. Hope y'all enjoy. Uh, make sure that like and sub, everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I put y'all on game today, comment uh, what I got. I got I to gotta look at some. Oh, yeah. My Larry Bird starting lineup limited edition number 33 card. Uh, don't comment that, you idiot. Just comment Larry Bird. You motherfucker. You was about to comment that entire sentence. Relax. Relax. But yeah, I'm at all my peace.